Today we're sitting down with the offensive coordinator of the Texas Tech Red Raiders, Eric Morris. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, yourself? I'm doing well, Coach. Thanks for asking. So I want to start off by talking about the recruiting class. There's a lot of people excited about the new players on the football team, but what are these players doing to help the starters push themselves to their full potential? Well, we have a lot of depth now. So, um, you know, we don't have to beg and plead these guys to go out there and, and give us effort every single play. If they don't, then we're going to put the next guy up. And so Coach Kingsbury's already made that extremely clear that um, if they're not giving us their all on every single play, then they're going to be replaced. So um, we have a little bit of leverage in that regard. But um, the way you handle adversity in the game of football is, is a huge part of how successful you're going to be. I mean, there's going to be a ton of ups and downs in every single game you play. A bunch of these guys have, have played football for us around here now, and so um, there's no excuses anymore about you know, not having the experience. So we're over that part. We know that we need to perform. Um, we have the capable. Uh, capability of doing that offensively. We returned nine guys off of a team, you know, that was top 15 in the country offensively last year. So during the offseason, there were a lot of changes to this coaching staff. How have those changes helped and improved upon the team this season? You know, we, Coach Cheverini uh, bumped over and is doing outside receivers, which is huge for me. Ever since we've been in it, we've had two wide receiver coaches. And so there's four of them. So the, the basic thing is, is that you just get more one on one time with them in a meeting room. Instead of having 20 of them, you have 10 of them. So you can get more technical and, and explain some stuff. And then uh, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, Coach Kingsbury hit a home run and hiring Coach Gibbs um, did a fantastic job coming in the spring and, uh, and leading the guys. Can you talk to us about Devin Lauderdale and how he's grown over these past few months? Yeah, he's had a great offseason. I mean, he's a kid that we thought the last probably four to five games kind of a, a light switch flipped on in his head and, and he really became a really dynamic, explosive player for us. Um, and so he's just got to build on that. Um, he's a kid that loves to compete. Um, every day we get into any kind of competition. I mean, he's a guy that will jump out there and mouth a little bit and, uh, and, and loves to, to win at all costs. So um, he's a kid that we'll lean on. Um, I thought him and Ian Sadler did a great job through, throughout the stretch last year. Both guys, you know, it was their first year in our program, um, had a learning curve early on, and, uh, but really adjusted throughout the Big 12 schedule and in the last four or five games did an excellent job for us. Probably studied more film than, than any offensive player throughout, or receiver for sure throughout this offseason. I mean, he's a guy that came in and, and watched a lot of NFL film and, and watched some of the very best slot receivers and that are doing it at the highest level right now and try to mock some of his game after them. So he was night and day how fast he was playing the fall to this past spring. So um, he'll be a kid that we try to get the ball to, you know, 10 to 12 times a game in the open field and, and make plays. 